Takashi 6 9. Snitch 9. Takashi is snitching on everybody, man. So if you listening to this and you got some shit that went bad with you, you better hope he don't tell on you. Cause he's snitching on everybody, man. Cardi B says she was she was a blood, but she was a, bl- a brim blood, not part of that, not part of you. But I was like, they didn't care. They didn't gonna have your ass on books of being in the game, man. They gonna be watching your movements. Yeah, but you know that's all they that's all they wanted. Like I don't think that she got that. They no, they asked him about this so they can start watching your movements. And the thing with with him though. If so many people were trying to tell this little ignorant fella, he need to sit himself down. Mm-hmm. And like the full interview, like I didn't watch the interview. You watched that full interview with him and Charlemagne. And in that interview, like, and he played the clip over, and that why he was like, "Yo, y'all, I tried when I tried him and Ebro, but on him, he hasn't had the clip because he hasn't had an interview. Ebro wouldn't even have an interview with him." Because he didn't, because he knew that he didn't want to listen. And that's the thing that like when, you, like, I don't know if you listened to the leak audio of his kidnapping. I listened to it a little bit. Uh, I think that a little bit. What's called, he had a, a full vid, uh, Big Homie Willie D. But I didn't watch the whole vid. And I get to that other, I, I get to what I'm saying about Sean. And Sean, man, he was like, I'm like, yo, like, Stop it. Like, this shit gonna end bad. And he was like, you know, when I get touched, that day I actually get hit or get whatever, y'all gonna sit here and laugh about it, but I'm gonna laugh now. And it was like, eh, no, you ain't. You wasn't ready. You was sitting there talking real big and tough like you were ready for whatever that was gonna come, the consequences that were gonna come to you. And now, you're not. Yeah, but Because he- in that in video when he was getting kidnapped, it posted been some other dudes, and then he was like, and those dudes knew him. Like I don't like maybe that was the thing that we reported before that they knew him. Yeah. But he was like, oh man, uh, uh, I'm just scared, man. I'm just scared because you know I got the dude, his manager over here. He, uh, I think his manager named Shadi. I don't know his name. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, he, he, like, restored me and stuff. I'm just scared, man. Like, I tried to talk to y'all, but, you know, I want to talk to y'all, but I couldn't I, I couldn't get to you because I ain't had your number. I'm just scared. And I was like, that wasn't what you were saying a couple of months ago on Charlemagne show. You were talking. Big shit. Big stuff. Now you talking about you scared. Now you scared, huh? But he's Now went. you on a damn stand testifying, blabbing. But the thing is. He paid them eighty thousand dollars to be around him, mm. to so he can um look tough. Yeah, take on this persona as a game member, but he never was a game member like that. So these black dudes, they feel that they have a sucker on their line, but these dudes, instead of just playing the role of like like being bodyguards or whatever, they are really out there putting in work in these streets. Not knowing that this dude gonna snitch on him the first time something go bad because he really scared of them. Mm-hmm. And they sitting up here planning fake robberies. But the something that the stuff that he was telling, like for me, the Chief Keith thing. Like if this dude don't go to jail for something, yo, yeah. he really, really didn't win in snitching because yeah. <laughs> he's on stage telling them, yeah, I, 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 I plotted to kill. Chief Keith, not one time, but two times. They shoot at him one time and miss. He paid those guys supposed to be 20000 But then he came back and he cut it down to 10000 to kill Chief Keith. Then he sent them out to Trippy Red, followed Trippy Red. He in the car with him to go and beat up on him. And he said it was crazy, too. When they asked him, did he, did he, uh, he said, I was there, but... And I was in the fight, and I threw punches, but none of them landed. <laughs> none of them landed, right? And then when, like, when he, like, he tried to dry snitch on Cardi B. Like, they asked him about, did he know any game? And he was like, yeah, Cardi B is a uh, part of the game, but I didn't pay any attention to her, though. Mm-hmm. You knew that she was there? 
So he just throwing out her name, and then he throw out Jim Jones. Mm -hmm. Talk about how Jim Jones was there, and they had a recording of Jim Jones. And Jim Jones was telling some dude about, uh, he was telling the dude that he felt that Takashi 6 9 were going to be a problem. And turned out that, no, Jim Jones was right. He is a problem. He over there snitching on the whole gang now. Mm-hmm. He's snitching on the whole gang. And people are, and, and, and the thing is, too, also, with this thing with Takashi, a lot of people out there, y'all better be watching y'all Twitter feeds, man, and looking at your people who are around you. Because a lot of people telling you they'll snitch. A lot of people are. Because folks mm-hmm. out here saying, well, man, he, he snitching. Cause he facing 40 years. Nah, partner. That ain't how the game goes. Don't commit the crime if you can't do the time. Mm-hmm. Don't don't be out here acting like you a thug and you a gangster when you know you're not. And then want to tell on other people to get yourself out of trouble. Because that's what he doing here. Because I was in front of I was listening to the interview with uh, Fat Joe. And... He was talking, he was like, yo, you know, when I was younger and I was doing my stuff with me and my people, he was like, uh, I'm not like some of these, uh, I forget what he said. He was like, because those are the dudes who would go and get you to do something, knowing that, go and get you to do something dirty or something illegal, knowing that, yo, it's a great chance your ass going to go to jail when you get caught. He said, see me, I'm a done, I'm a done, I know that I'm going, a done supposed to be a person who's going to do something Knowing that it's a possibility you're going to go to jail, so I'm going to try to do something or get you to do something where I know you're not going to go to jail for. So you don't go to jail. And I don't like with Takashi. He didn't give a damn about them niggas that he was paying and going to put hits on people going to jail. Even though he was scared of them, maybe that was one of the reasons why he was doing Like, yo, they go to jail. I ain't got to deal with them no more. But not knowing it, no, they still got all the people on the outside who... Yeah. Once they know the now, that he set me up. And, and and I hope I hope in his deal that he got. Oh, he that, gonna have hell something. That it, in his deal that they gonna put that dude in a witness hey, protection boy, program I'm because if you, not, when that nigga he can't that, go back boy, to New York. Please, when that boy, now the thing is, if he come out trying to be a rapper, he gonna. I don't know how he gonna do it, but if he came out. No, he can come out and be a rapper with these fans today. With these fans today, he can get away with being a snitch. No, like everybody I, snitching on everybody. Yeah, I do. I do believe that. But I'm saying that he, he ain't gonna last long. He's gonna get killed. I'm saying that he came out like I'm. This is my thing. When he get out, we ain't gonna know it because his hair ain't gonna be rainbow color. <laughs> he gonna hit fake. He ain't gonna have no more tattoos. He he been got some goddamn reconstruction on his face. He gonna like a totally different man. They gonna be like, who are that? Yeah. And he he and that'd be the major way that he come out and be like, yo man, that nigga signed no he signed just like Takashi sick now. Nah. And I'm like, that is Takashi. And that he's like a white dude now. Yeah. <laughs> and see, every, and what was so bad about it is that everybody was trying to tell this fool. You know he was trying to he even snitched on what to call it too. And that's that that, that and he and I said that's when he really playing playing with fire. Cause he tried to throw Jay Prince in there. He wouldn't mention Jay Prince's name, but he says, "Yeah, you know, I was pursued by this fake like mobster rap record label, Rap a Lot Records. See, Jay yeah, Prince yeah, owned yeah, yeah. Rap a Lot Records, so he was out there trying to. St- but he, he, he <laughs> give him time. Mm-hmm. Give him time. Cause he's because he's on everybody. Like it seems like every day." Is some news coming out, and I'm like, boy, how what that deal? The, the, the other thing, like the video that I watched on um, World started to do, like, yo, in the video or in the trial or something, that they were like, in the front of too, them dude was sneaking in cameras, filming the trial. I'm like, yeah. like and- I, now maybe that's just me, but I'm like, I'm. How y'all letting these dudes get in, get these phones through security, or uh, getting this stuff? These people can sneak in a gun and try to kill him. Yeah. You need to be patting down everybody. I was like, especially the way he out here snitching. Mm-hmm. And, and, and see, for me, with him, with Cardi B, because you remember Cardi B had these girls jumped on. Yeah, and the other thing and that see, I had read, yeah. they were like, yo, 
they were gonna try, try to connect that. that. Yeah, yeah, they gonna tell. Like, yeah, and then you remember, you remember with Jim Jones. Jim Jones had problems, and Jim Jones not too long ago got caught in Georgia with some guns and drugs. On a charge. I think so. I think I remember. Um, I think it was earlier this year or late last year. And so while. he had stuff up there also. Things that went in. And they and as I said, that's why they getting him to sell these people a uh, game members. Cause they trying mm-hmm. to draw the conclusions on the other cases that they have where they think Jimmy and Cardi B was involved with them. Because I know the other dude, he was talking about with the Cardi B thing. He was like, yeah, you know, can it could be bad for her as far as sponsoring. People don't want to yeah. sponsor with somebody that's known. But and then, and the thing is that Cardi B a long time ago told yeah. people that she was a blood game member, though. Yeah, because no, I remember he brought them telling her, that, uh, you know, you might want to uh, yeah. quiet down on that. Like, like I don't know. Like, and even in this was before Takashi had got booked, and he was still saying, yo, People be out here playing around with their gang shit, not understanding that the old people ain't playing. Nah, if you come ain't. out here ripping they set and shit, yeah, you better get ready to pay them dues. And now I don't know uh, Cardi B's situation, but we see with Takashi's situation, it was straight up fakery. Like yeah. that first video, one video, he was like, yeah, I called up some people and... The dude, I guess it one of them dude who became his manager, helped him. Like, those dude that was in one of his videos, he ain't know none of them dudes. But they was all got the band down and stuff, and he ain't know none of them dudes. And it was like, what? So every video you did, all the people that was in there rapping and wearing your stuff jumping, you knew none of those dudes. Yeah. And he paid all of them. And it like, eh. He paid all of them. And, and that's what... What was amazing to me is that his whole rap career was purchased. Mm-hmm. Like Trippy Red did the beat for him that uh, made him into a star. Then he had all these blood game members and hired them to be in the videos and stuff with him. And then he had them, like, he was acting like he was a little mobster out here doing hits on people. He didn't even last two years. Yeah, flammed out quick, and everybody was trying to tell the little fool, too, man. Well, all right, people, hit that like button, subscribe.